Good morning. Welcome back to the house, to the vlog, to the kitchen, uh, to the channel. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. We are a vlogging channel. We vlog our daily life here at home. We vlog on the road from the camper. We vlog on the cruise ships. We vlog when we travel. We just vlog. So if you're interested in that, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Remember, subscribing is free. And uh, I hope you'll join us here. It is 10.57 a.m. Sunday the 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, 32 degrees outside here in Houston and the temperature, Katie, the temperature is falling. We are just before a major winter storm, which is very, very rare here in the state of Texas. The last major winter storm we had was in 1989, where temperatures reached seven degrees. I do remember this. And into the early evening. As colder air continues to drop in, watch the freezing line dive south to our coast. That pink being ice, that's freezing rain, and that is sleet. Farther north as we bring in that truly cold air, and there's no melting through any layer of the atmosphere, we go from freezing rain and sleet into snow. And that transition happens early on Monday, and the snow is going to be something also that we see area-wide here, the potential for accumulating snow. This clears out here late Monday, but we're not done. Temperatures on Monday aren't going to rebound. So anything that falls tonight, Monday morning, still on the ground, still causing slick conditions through Tuesday. And Tuesday morning is the worst of it as far as temperatures go. Brutal cold on the way Tuesday. Pipe and busting, hard freeze, lows in the teens, lows in some cases in the single digits. But I mean, notice you guys, we go from the 30s all the way to 72 and 71. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the weather here is crazy. Wait five minutes, it'll change. You guys, I've not done a single thing today. Not a single thing. I answered comments and I sat on the couch and watched videos. I never take a day off. And you know what? I took the day off. And I don't feel bad about it. And I'm going to just Take it as a snow day, even though it didn't snow. It is icing over now. We are getting some sleet and some uh, ice pellets, uh, you know, frozen rain. My uh, patio is freezing over. My everything outside has got a thin layer of ice on it. But if we could get it to switch over to sleet and then to snow pretty quickly, if that happens, they're saying that we should be spared the ice issue. I don't know, it's not doing anything. It's not pretty, it's just wet. Everything is wet, and what's not wet is ice. Very, very thin layer of ice. Um, I wouldn't even say an eighth of an inch. It's just that super thin ice. Um, is it gonna get worse? Probably because the temperature is continuing to drop, and everything that is now coated from the rain we've had today will turn into ice overnight. And um, hopefully we get some snow. I, I don't know, I would love to see the snow, but then again, it becomes deceptive that it's snow and you don't see the ice and you fall, or you slip or you slide in your car, or whatever the case may be. So hopefully everybody just stays home. Well, here you go. It is icy, it's not, it's not snow, it's ice. So it's, uh, I mean, I can't walk out there because it'll, I'll slip <laughs> right into that frigid pool. So it's currently 27 degrees. So, um, I mean, that's just ice. Let's see the pool brush and the ice. So, you know, and it, it's, it's water here. What is that? Oh, my scrunchie fell out. It's water here and starts ice about right there. So, I'm hoping it snows. It needs to stop icing. Robbie is without power. Taylor still has power, but, uh, and we still have power, and I can't get to Robbie. So, just so worried about him. It is currently 8.45, so we'll check in in a little bit. And it's snowing. Well, Patty's, I know it's so cold, babies. I know. <laughs> Little dog's like, hey. I know, it's so cold. Hurry, hurry, mommy has to go in. It's so cold. Go potty, Papa. Don't slip, baby. 
Don't slip. Please don't fall in the pool, Angel. That's good babies. Oh, well, it is now 908, 27 degrees. Puppies have to go potty. Paw prints. Five eleven a.m. Sixteen degrees outside, and uh, we have snow. It's and our power is out. I mean, we've never had this before. It's never made it all the way up on the patio like this. I'm so worried about the pool. And the pipes are above ground, and uh, we can't uh, can't run the pool. We don't have any ice up there yet, but when it gets to be a little daylight, we'll go out there. Right now, I'm not dressed for it, but I mean, we have snow. Wow. Oh, please don't freeze that pool. Please don't burst, bust the pipes. Go parties, huh? What is happening out here? What is happening? What, what, why is this like this? Look at those paw prints. Aw, we need Tucker here to show you the way, huh? I don't care, I gotta go potty. Okay, put that little thermometer thing up again. Do you have it with you? Oh my goodness, you guys. We are so concerned about not having the um, pool running. I am so, so worried about the pipes freezing. So we've got, uh... all right, so right here, nine degrees. And then in the pool is 20 degrees. I'm so worried about that. The fire pit is three degrees. <laughs> wow. Seven up here against the house, the ground is 16. 10. So worried about surface temperatures. I don't know if this is accurate. You people who live up north, you know this better than I would, but I mean, two degrees. Zero? One? Oh, I mean, there's ice everywhere. It has blown up against the house. It's, we have never had it like this before. I can't even report our power outage. So, insane. Look at those paw prints. I love those paw prints. I got fur on her. I mean, snow on hers. <laughs> it's funny. Wow. It's still teeny tiny itsy bitsy flakes. I mean, it's not the big billowy snow we had the last time it snowed. It's very icy. As you can see on my dog. Oh, Addie, come on, let's go inside, baby. Come on, Fafat. I realize you can't see me at all. There's my glasses reflecting in the record light on the phone. It is so, so bitterly cold. It is 14 degrees outside. It is 5.58 a.m. Monday, the 15th of February. We are still without power. We've been without power since about 1 a.m. And um, it's still fine in the house. Like, it's not too terribly cold in the house. Hold on. Whoa, let's, uh, oh. hey, that's not helping. I was trying to do something clever and see if maybe <laughs> it's not working. Anyway, so I'll do it this way. Um, it is, uh, 
I normally am such a paranoid person that I charge up all my batteries. I don't know what I was thinking yesterday. I guess I wasn't thinking it was actually gonna happen. And now here we are without power and all my batteries are dead. So I don't know what to do. Um, we're probably gonna go turn on the car in just a little bit and charge everything up and um, in the truck and in the car, charge everything up and uh, that way we'll have power on everything. Um, currently I'm monitoring the dog that is behind our house. Um, he's barking or she or he is barking and there is a law implemented currently that um, pets are to be brought inside because it's considered animal cruelty to leave them out. Thank God they did that. And um, I'm going to give it about five more minutes if they don't let the dog in, I'm calling the police um, because it's crying, which means it's cold. And I'm sure it didn't want to go potty and all of that. But if the humans would go outside with it and coax it and encourage it, then it would go potty. Um, but it sounds like it's just been dumped out there and I'm not, I'm not okay with that. You guys know that. So, um, yeah, well, here we sit. Um, it's six o'clock, so the sun should be up in about an hour and, uh, we'll see what everything looks like outside. Okay. So um, you pulled out my old press and have some coffee. That was yesterday's cup of coffee that I poured in a pan and heated up before I remembered. I actually did have a press here because my other press is in the camper. <laughs> so thankfully I had this one because y'all, today without coffee would not be a good day. <laughs> I would have made tea, but it wouldn't have been the same. And I am going to clean this house today. Power or not, I'm cleaning. That's what we're doing today widespread power outages president's day has begun with an awful situation many roads are nearly impassable and now there are rolling power blackouts across our area opening up these doors as you can see these are these automatic sliding doors that push these open Ooh. big burst of cold air open yeah, so TJ talking about those power outages and now the effort to keep warm is becoming even more difficult. All right, let's take a live look outside this morning. This is one of our crews driving. We're entertaining ourselves by entertaining the cats on the floor that needs to be vacuumed desperately. Little dog, it's okay. They can play. It's okay, baby. to stay off the roads this morning. If there is any day to stay off the roads, today is the day. Our team is ready to protect you and your family during this winter storm. Meteorologist Alita Loresca is starting us off. Good morning, Alita. Good morning, Samika and Tom. Good morning, friends. As Tom mentioned, yes, a lot of the snow is winding down, but this winter storm has a couple of components to it, and it's not just the precipitation. It is the dangerous cold that's going to be filtering into our area. We're already getting a taste of that bitter cold. Bitter. Notice the snow showers are, are starting so to wind down, especially west of the Brazos River. We are finding just that light dusting coming across the Lake Livingston area, Huntsville, Lake Conroe, and this is all pushing fairly quick toward the east. So there I have it on my iPad here. Pockets. I have 22% battery left because I did Texas not prepare. By 10 o'clock this morning, can still... So Rob's out there brushing the pool. He put a cover over the pipes. So it is so, 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 so cold. What, what are he doing? Being goofy. It's being goofy. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. I'm going to go put my sweaty Betty's on. And, uh... Warm up. What are you doing over there, Missy? Eating the snow. Eating the snow. I like the snow. Papa, your coat is made for this weather. Yes. Just like Tucker. Yes, just like Tucker. She's already been in the pool. I mean, she literally got in the pool. We don't know why, but she did. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going back inside. Excuse oh, me, Mr. Fenwick. <laughs> This is the current situation. Snuggle bugs. <laughs> They're so cold. I put this here because I drink coffee on the couch. I'm sorry, Yasmin. Normally it's covered, but I slept on the couch last night because we kept checking the weather. Are you so cold, little dog? Are you so cold? Oh, Are you freezing? Oh, your little ears are cold. It's 60 in the house currently, so it's pretty chilly. <laughs> Yasmin's like, I'm checking out. I'm, I'm cold. So we have blankets on the floor and stuff for them. So 
for the other cats and that, you know, their beds and stuff like that. We have like four of these around the house. And uh, so all the cats have warm places to be. And look, I'm, I'm gonna just scrub floors today because what else can I do? And um, the light is on, hold on, there we go. So there's the pool, same scene. Just a couple hours later, it is currently 14 degrees. It is 729. Um, our wind chill is minus two. So it's pretty windy, but not a steady wind. We get gusts of wind, which thank goodness it's not, you know, I mean, it's, it's windy, but we get the gusts that really make it super cold. So I have my sweaty Betty thermals on and a shirt and my, this is super duper warm and my, what are those things called? My Zella joggers and my sweaty Betty thermals underneath. Um, I have one more set of thermals that I can put on if I'm still not warm in this, which you know I will, because I'm always cold. Well, we just got a notification our power should be out until Tuesday. So I've got some water on to boil for some coffee. There's bacon, I'm about to make some eggs. And here's the coffee set up over here. And uh, that's all we can do. Still frosty, frosty cold, still 14 degrees outside, so. Thank goodness for gas ranges. Um, there we go, and we're watching Friends on the iPad. So we're good to go. The sun is out, so it's still 14. <laughs> it's still super cold. Um, it's 8.52 a.m. Pool is green. Desperately need to turn it on and shock it. Maybe the sun will melt some of this and we can get our power back on. They're saying we won't have power until Tuesday. That's gonna be a long time without power. But um, I put the meat outside. Yeah, the recycling's piled up. I'm, I'm getting ready to take it over. Um, remember, I was out of town, so I put the meat outside because it was getting warm in the fridge. So it's outside. It's 14 degrees out here. I think it'll stay cooler out here than it would in my house. So, there we go. You can see, if you peek through there, you can see we have the pool equipment covered up as best we can with a moving blanket. Okay. So, I just had some breakfast and um, I'm going to uh, now do some more cleaning. I mean, what else can I do? So I'm telling you, I love this Sweaty Betty thermal. I bought it bigger so that it wouldn't be tight on me because y'all know how I feel about that. But really, truly did not think I would be wearing this in Texas. I bought it for those cold runs when it's windy and cold. And I bought it for uh, Alaska. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right, well, I have... Uh, done the dishes, vacuumed, not vacuumed, swept, mopped, cleaned the cabinets, been busy, warmed me up a little bit. It's pretty chilly in the house. This one is loving this. What do you think? Our neighbors over there have a generator going. So hopefully they don't run it all night long. So um, hopefully we get power back. So it is now 9.54 sort of see the snow I don't well you probably can't but yeah it has started to kind of snow sleet again or maybe it's blowing off the trees I don't know who knows bye bye hi all right well it's two o'clock and uh, it's 19 degrees our high today is 21 but you can see the Sun is out things are starting to melt which is both good and bad. I mean, I'm cold, it's chilly. I'm cold, but the wind is really, I'm glad things are starting to melt, but at the same time, uh, it's creating ice. So, because it's not really cold enough to melt, but the sun is starting to melt it. You get what I'm saying. So, there we go. That's where we are. Oh, hello, little dog. Hello, Addy. Hi, babies. Oh, he's so cold. We have put his sweater on and he hates it. So just letting him be. We have him wrapped up in a blanket in the house. 
What are you doing? You gonna eat the snow again? She loves to eat the snow. And these are out here and now are frozen. <laughs> Shocking. So that's kind of good though because uh, I don't have power to cook them. So they're saying maybe tonight we'll have power. Maybe, maybe. Um, she's so funny. <laughs> but uh, most likely by tomorrow. Not sometime tomorrow, not, not today. So. <laughs> Anyway, so that's what's happening. So, yeah. Um, it is just kind of a, a day. I'm trying not to use my phone too much because I don't want to lose power on my phone. And um, did a little editing until my battery ran dead in the laptop. So I stopped. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. I'll see you in a little bit. Well, it is 5.15. I made Philly cheesesteak for dinner because it was quick and easy. And uh, we, it's okay, we have dinner over here. So some avocado and bacon and there's my Philly cheesesteak and Rob has his on a bun. How are you, Addie? We are over, not having power. I'm ready to clean my kitchen. <sighs> anyway, so it, yeah, what? Get warm, yeah, we're gonna go get in the car in a minute. Um, and charge everything. So I've been working on some coffee. It's just, it is melty outside. It is 19 degrees. It, the flashlight's on, I'm sorry. And you can see my meat out there. It's frozen solid. Fine, that's fine. Um, so no end in sight on when we are going to have power. No end in sight. So... Oh my goodness, Addie, that was attractive. <laughs> so our patience is just wearing thin, that's all. We're trying to stay positive, but you know, we're a little grumpy. Good morning, Tuesday the 16th of February, 10 degrees outside, 6, 11 a.m., no power. So we've now officially been without power for several hours. Um, I need to do my dishes. I'm just gonna have to hand wash them today. It is 54 degrees in my house, and um, I can't see outside. Everything's pitch black. I can't see anything. So we found a flashlight that I didn't know I had. So that's nice. So anyway, as soon as day breaks, we're gonna go outside, start the vehicles, and charge our devices. So uh, yeah. I'm so, oops, what's happening? very frustrating. We're very cold, very tired of this. 75% of Texas is down. I'm going to rant. There's no excuse for that. There's no excuse for any of this. Plans should have been in place for extreme weather conditions. We have them down here in Texas. It's not like it never happens. I don't care if it was 75 years or 122 years ago. So I'm a healthy 48 year old woman. What about those with newborns? What about senior citizens like grandma who is freezing right now? She can't turn, she... What about those with illnesses? What about those who need machinery to keep them breathing, to keep them comfortable, any of that? Oh, this is just making me insane. Okay, I'm making my coffee. Thank goodness for a gas stove. Um, yeah, so thank goodness for a gas stove. And thankfully I found my French press, which was in my cabinet, not in the camper where my other insulated one is. Today we're gonna pull everything out of the refrigerator and take it outside in a cooler to try and preserve it. I had just gone to the grocery store. I had just purchased a bunch of sandwich meat, which we buy in bulk because of the lunches and things like that. It's all brand fresh, brand new cheese. And now we've not had power. I'm not losing that cheese and I'm not losing those sandwich meat and eggs and everything else, bacon. My freezer is still solid frozen, no problem, obviously. But my refrigerator, because we open it for coffee creamer and things like that, so it's gonna go in a cooler outside. So doing what we gotta do. So we've heard two 
estimates either later this afternoon or in a couple of days. That's what we've heard. Crazy. <sighs> wow, it's so cold. We've never had snow last two days like this, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> it's crazy. The sky is pink. It's amazing. <coughs> oh my god, we have ice on the pool. Oh no. Oh no. This is what we were worried about. Thick sheet of ice. Oh dear. This is not good. We need the power back on. We absolutely need the power back on. Well, the pool seems to be okay, but to have the pump anyway. But I can guarantee the pipes in those scuppers. Hold on. Those are scuppers. Where our water normally flows. I can guarantee in there it's frozen. So This is the sound. Who would have thought you would have heard this sound here? In one of my videos. Oh, in the hum of somebody's generator that keeps exploding. Keeps backfiring. Oh my goodness, you guys. We're just not used to this here in Texas. I know some of you, have, especially if you live up north, you're like, oh, that's nothing. But you have to understand, here, this is major. This is, this is going to be an insurance nightmare. <sighs> I don't want my foot to get wet. But I want to break up this ice. Oh, what is that? Oh, the stopper. on my butt. All right. I've been chatting with my neighbor. She hasn't looked at her pool yet. She's going to go look. All we had was his Santa sweater. <laughs> not know what to make of this. <laughs> Come on, cold paws. Come on, baby. <laughs> Is it so cold? Is it so cold? Come on, let's go inside. <laughs> Very exciting things. So we totally forgot that Frank is a conversion van. Um, he's, uh, he's very old. But he was made for camping. My grandfather used to drive him up to Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and um, would uh, camp in him at the uh, flight. My grandfather was an engineer and a pilot, um, veteran pilot in the Navy. Anyway, um, he would go to the Oshkosh air show, airplane show, whatever it was up there. Oh, give me a second. I am I've been running back and forth in and out of the cold. It's a it's amazing how it takes your breath away. Um I am now making coffee and hot cocoa for everyone. So whew. Hold on a second. You're going to see me walking around, running back and forth, pacing. My anxiety at this point was off the charts. So that's why I'm pacing. That's why I seem frantic because my anxiety was just so bad at this point. So forgive all of the craziness that you're about to see. Once again, thank goodness for gas. Okay. Um, Frank is a conversion van, as I was saying. And he, when I inherited him, 
we took him to a conversion van dealer and had plugs put in him. I, Cause the kids had electronic devices and toys and stuff. And we would go on road trips and that way each of them had their own plug. We had a DVD system put in. So we now have all of our devices plugged in to Frank. He has a converter in him, totally forgot. So now everything is charging up. I have my gloves from Alaska. Once I make everybody some hot cocoa and some coffee for moi, then we are going to go, uh, I'm gonna go out there and sit in the van. It is currently 54 degrees in the house. Um, we're gonna take little dog out in the car with us. Um, I can't bring the cats because they freak out when, when they get anywhere near the vehicle. Um, but uh, they seem to be okay. I keep wrapping them with our down blankets, um, you know, comforters. And they get pretty warm with that. Little dog does too. Um, I have their beds on the floor and towels and stuff in their beds. So they've been doing pretty well um, with their fur coats. They don't seem to be like too cold. So, um, but I am paying close attention to that and each one of them gets snuggled. <laughs> Every hour, each one of them gets picked up and held for 15, 20 minutes in my lap. Tight, snuggled, hold if they'll tolerate that. Um, Blackie does okay for a few minutes. Grace in a little bit, eat it up. Um, and uh, Blackie will allow it. Evie will not allow it. Um, and uh, Kitty allows it. Anyway, so we snuggle with them to keep them warm. So... Um, they, we've heard two schools of thought on the power, either it'll be back this afternoon or not for a couple of days. And you know, one side keeps blaming the other side. I don't care whose fault it is. Somebody fix it. Quit laying blame and fix it. And unfortunately we have to come above freezing in order for it to have any, from what I understand, I don't know. So I have, I have, uh, I've cleared out the fridge. Everything is outside. Um, our ice started melting in the fridge, so it was time to put everything outside. The problem with that is it is currently 14 degrees, which I don't really want the stuff out there to actually freeze, like the eggs. So there you go. But we're gonna sit in the van for a little bit and warm up and um, start and let everything charge. I'm gonna come in and fix some eggs for breakfast. Um, we're gonna have a nice, big, hearty breakfast. Um, I'll make Chandler and I egg tacos and I've got some avocado. So I'll make that for Rob. He has donuts and he's happy with that. So um, anyway, uh, I just, I'm hungry now and I've been drinking a lot of hot coffee. So thank God for the gas. Thank God our, still wa our water is still running. For now, I am hearing at the front of the subdivision that they are losing water. So I'm a little concerned, um, but we're not supposed to get above freezing today. Cancel Siri. Um, we're not supposed to get above freezing today, but I'm hoping the sun melts the roads enough that we can take Frank up to Bucky's and get some gas. That is one thing I am really hoping. So, oh, by the way, excuse the mess in my house. I mean, I'm not worried about it right now. We planted our green onions like this, like David from Booze Cruise. We have two of them going now. So excited for that. We had intentions of using them this week. We were gonna be making some sesame chicken, but uh... okay, hold on. Rapid melting, yes. Melt, 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 melt. Come on, come on, son. It's 27 degrees outside, you guys. The warmest it's been in like 48 hours. We still have no power, but uh, you can see it's melting. We did just get in the car. We went in Frank, took it up to a gas station that's about, a, I guess, two blocks away and um, uh, filled up the tank, which we desperately needed to do. And uh, so Frank has a full tank. Look, everything's melting. Yes. Frank has a full tank. Um, we did speak with a police officer who had been coming around and letting people know, you know, how things were going. And we asked about safe, a safe route and he gave us one. So that was, that was much appreciated because we needed gas. 
uh, especially since the power is out. So, and what's funny is my kids' power. <gasps> my power just came back on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so we have power. Thank goodness. What I was saying is my kids don't have water and I don't have power. They have power and no water. Anyway, so I just did all the dishes by hand. That's all it took was we needed, you know, like when you're at a restaurant and somebody goes to the bathroom and the food comes, that's what we needed to do. I needed to get the dishes all washed by hand and we needed to go completely fill up Frank's so we had a fuel source. And that's all it took to get the power to come back on was secure plans in place to stay warm and powered all night long. <laughs> Anyway, um, we're gonna wait a little while, make sure the electricity is going to stay on, and then I am going to take a shower and actually change my clothes, which I've been wearing for the last two days because they're warm. <laughs> well, no power again all night. The power just came back on. It is 8.05 a.m. Wednesday the 17th. It's 30 degrees outside. That is falling ice. Um, hitting the pool and melting, but thank God we can turn the pool on. It defrosted overnight. Um, oh my God, thank God. We were so, so worried about the pool, but we seem to have made it without any issues. We spent a couple of hours, spent a couple of hours yesterday at our neighbor's house. Um, they had a busted pipe. Like I said, they're out of town. We've been collecting their mail. So we had to dig the ice and snow off of their water shut off and shut their water off. Um, had to call the county out, had to have the, and that was a couple of hours. We felt so bad for them. Another one of my friends in the subdivision had a pipe burst. There were several houses on a couple of the streets here that have had pipes burst. Um, honestly, I know we haven't had power. I know I've been grumpy. This morning, all night last night, we had zero water. We couldn't flush toilets, even with buckets of water. We couldn't flush. There was no uh, pressure in the lines. Um, even with all of that, we've had no burst pipes so far. Um, I can't complain. I cannot complain. I've been a little grumpy. I have a really bad headache um, because of stress. Uh, we haven't been able to work. We can't get to work. So absolutely no sales this week, which is a problem. Um, the stores need us there and we can't get there um, because of the ice. I mean, yeah, I did get a shower yesterday. I was so excited to get a shower. We had to relight the water heater, um, which you're probably gonna have to do again because the power's been out so much, it, it turns off. It's a gas water heater, but it's an electric uh, pilot. So, I don't know. Anyway. So I'm gonna go crank up the heat in the house to get it nice and warm before we lose power again, um, which is sort of what they're recommending, but they're not. They're like, don't turn your thermostat above 65, but get your house really, really warm before the power goes out again. But I, 65 is not really, really warm when it's 29, 30 out, especially when it was eight and nine degrees out. <laughs> but uh, you can see the ice forming on the trees again. Hang on. You see the ice forming on the trees again? That's gonna be a problem on the power lines. I mean, that is all ice. It was snow, it started to melt a little bit, then we started getting freezing rain. Now it's slush. The ground is about 25 degrees. The air is about 30, 31 degrees, 32 around in there. The water temperature in the pool is 35 degrees. Um, so we have frost on the grass back there. It's, this is just insane. And there's lots of arguing on the news over whose fault it is that we don't have power. Um, ERCOT is our power. Anyway, we are deregulated and independent of other states here in Texas, which because our power was so expensive for so long, that's why we did that here. We all voted for that 20 some odd years ago. Well, when you have this type of weather, that ends up biting you in the rear end. So, but this is so few and far between, so rare. I mean, it was 122 years ago, the last time this really happened. And back in 1987 or 89, I forget the year that this happened previously, it didn't last as long. So we didn't have the power issues. Um, the problem is a lot of us here in Texas have electric heat. We have gas, but it doesn't matter when you have electric ignition. So when the heat, when the power goes out, nobody has heat, gas or electric. 
Um, I don't have a fireplace. Uh, and um, yeah, so we couldn't get the fire pit working. And even if we could, it's out in the middle of the backyard. We did get the grill on yesterday. So if I needed to cook something in an oven type format, we have two of those. I couldn't get the uh, pizza oven on, uh, probably because my hands were so cold. I couldn't, I couldn't get it to light. Um, I, I'm gonna try again today. Uh, so, but we have power right now. So if I need to bake something, I will. Anyway, so the saga continues. I will let you guys know what's going on. I know all you've heard in this vlog is about the snow and the ice and that kind of thing, but that's that's what's happening here. So that's what we're vlogging. So um, yeah, uh, we're gonna have to cancel our trip to Austin this weekend. Grandma is in the hospital uh, at this moment. They're saying it's hypothermia, but there's there's no, it was very, it was very bad for a while. Very, very bad. Her temperature was 89 and a half degrees. They've gotten her up to 95, but she can't regulate and they're doing everything they can to keep her warm, but it, it's just not going well. Um, and we can't get to her. Anyway, so this is what's happening right now. And um, I'm trying to remain patient and calm, but I'm not. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm very grumpy. I'm grumpy about the power, because it seems unnecessary that we're going through this, but maybe it is. I don't know, I'm not the expert. So there you go. Okay, I'm gonna stop now and I will see you in a little bit. Grateful that we have power currently, grateful that the pool is on, and grateful that I can go in there and fix something to eat that's not eggs. <laughs> Rob went to go get the water out of the truck. Rock solid. These aren't, some of them aren't, so I guess the ones maybe, I don't know, but rock solid. Whatever, it's some bottled water, you know. We have water now because the power's back on, but, uh, when the power goes out, we lose all water and water pressure. And I guarantee the power's gonna go back out again. And uh, yeah, are you cold fur babies? Look at that, they're freezing. They're just freezing. That one, she keeps snuggling up with us, but the heater's on now, um, so she should be good. Uh, I'm gonna run around and clean. This has been our home base. That right there, you see there's a little dog over there. Um, this time, we reclined, when we got the power on, we reclined it so and left it so that way it would be comfortable. But that is a down blanket and it's been very cozy. The cats have been in and out of their little thing. They keep getting in my blankets over here to snuggle. This one, I think is the only one that's warm because of all that extra fur he's got. Huh, baby? I know. He's like, finally, I'm not hot. <laughs> oh, sweet boy. And then Grayson, how have you been? See, I've been fine. I've been putting that extra fur coat to work for me. She keeps going out and eating the ice. This is where, is where Grayson has been perched. He's been eating the box. So this, this is my Stitch Fix box. So, uh, hi baby. I've yet to try it on. I haven't had a chance. It's been so cold. So I extended my checkout. Grayson. What is happening? Why is it so cold? <laughs> anyway, he won't snuggle. He's been kind of grumpy and like me. He's been very much like me. Although he did sleep with me last night, snuggled up in the blanket with Yasmin. We just rebooked our booking for next weekend or this coming weekend and moved it to the weekend after. They're struggling with propane. It's crazy, but we're gonna go next weekend. And he said, Oh, it just, he said they have three quarters of an inch of ice up there. Yeah. We've got about a half an inch, quarter to a half an inch here. It's crazy. Just put a K cup in the Keurig to turn it on, hit the start button and the power turned off. One o'clock, we have power 111. We have power for probably about an hour or so. Rob is throwing a pizza in the oven. I am reheating a pretzel. Oh yeah, there we go. From, you know, the gluten-free bakery in Austin. So I'm gonna have that, just check it in. Okay, there we go. I actually like squished out the mustard way too much, but that's all right. So there is my lunch. Is it keto? No. Is it grain-free? No. But is it comfort food? Yes. And do we need that today? Oh, totally. 
Good morning. It is Friday, 10.55 a.m., the 19th of February, 34 degrees outside. How are you today? I needed to close out this vlog. I thought I had, but um, I had not when I was editing it. We have full power now. Um, we did have a busted pipe. Uh, thankfully, though, it was on the outside of the house. No damage inside, unlike so, so many people. They had so much damage inside dozens and dozens of homes in my subdivision, uh, busted pipes. My friend had, well, she started off with five. They thought they repaired it. They went to pressurize the system and there was water coming out of her ceiling fans. So um, this has been, like I told you, an insurance nightmare for so many. Um, anyway, um, hopefully they have insurance. You know, some people don't. <laughs> anyway, so um, I... I'm going to work today, I'm going to edit. We've got a lot to do, a lot to catch up on now that the roads are safe and passable. We have one more night of freezing temperatures and then we should be good to go. Um, here's what's left. So we have a little bit of ice and snow here. You guys, I am telling you, and up for out front we have it and there's still a little bit on the house. I am telling you, we have never still had ice or snow on the ground after a week. <laughs> that has never happened. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, oh, there's a little more here. Yeah, that's a lot, actually. Um, so, I'm just grateful that the pool is fine, and we only had that one busted pipe, which is a sprinkler system on our house. Uh, oh, it's quite breezy right now, so I'm quite chilly. Um, so, yeah, so that's about it. So, thank you guys for spending this week with me. Um, I apologize for any grumpiness, or actually, I don't apologize. <laughs> I think in certain circumstance, most of us were grumpy and tired and whiny and, and miserable. <laughs> so, and uh, you guys all who said to me in the past, you say you wanna live where it snows, but you really don't. You just haven't experienced it yet. Once you do, you won't want it. You were 100% correct. Um, yeah, I don't need to go through that again. I don't need that again. Uh, nope, I'm good. <laughs> so. It would have been completely different had we had power and water. I think it would have been different. Yes, we are still having to boil water. Our water has not been cleared. Um, the pressure's not 100% yet, but it's pretty close. Um, so I'm really ready for it to come back to be clean and pressurized so I can take a shower. Um, that would be real nice. Um, thankfully, I took one when the power came back. Uh, we weren't expecting it to go out again, but thankfully I took a shower during that time. And, um, but still, I'd like to have another one. It'd be real nice. Um, so, <laughs> can't brush our teeth with the, we're using bottled water anyway. So, we'll get through it. This too shall pass. So, um, anyway, and if you didn't see the meme I posted from my friend on Facebook, um, <laughs> you should go see it because it's, it's really funny and it perfectly depicts 2020, 2021 so far. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for spending this week with me. I sincerely appreciate it going forward. Hopefully we have some fun things coming ahead. We are going to go camping next weekend. Um, oh, that's one thing. Yeah, we did have a water line, the uh, spigot, the kitchen spigot in the kitchen of the RV busted, uh, cracked in half. So, um, you know, that's all right. We already bought another one and we're going to schedule it for repair. It'll be fine. Hopefully that's all the damage. That's all we could see. So hopefully that's it. We'll see. That's why we have insurance. <laughs> uh, all right. Again, thank you so much for joining me this week. Be well, stay warm, take care. Thank you so much for all your love and support this past week. You guys, and always, you guys are just as always amazing. Subscribe before you go. Hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Bye.